Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Joey Logano's Pennzoil Ford for 2023. As always, take a look at the box. You've got the generic Elite NASCAR 75th Anniversary box. Got the logo 2023 Elite Standard Finish. Made total 142 of these things. Standard Finish, NASCAR 75th Anniversary, RCCA Elite, all that good stuff with your copyright and such on the bottom. Here is the car itself. A beautiful new paint scheme for Joey this year. Pennzoil is kind of throwing it back to a mixture of some of their old paint schemes here. You've got aspects of Steve Park's paint scheme. You've got aspects of Johnny Benson's. You've got aspects of the Nissan Skyline GTR. Like, there's a bunch of cool stuff going on here. It is a great combination of old paint schemes. I am happy to see that they're using black again because I remember back when they ran the full Steve Park car at Darlington the one year. They were like, there was an interview with like the Shell Pennzoil like lady that was like deciding some of that stuff. And she said that like apparently at the time Pennzoil was like really trying to get away from using black on any of their paint schemes or black stripes or any of that. Which is just an odd choice. So I'm glad that they finally gone back to it because like, as you can see by this Pennzoil bottle in the background, this full synthetic bottle, this is yellow and black. So clearly Pennzoil still uses black. Like that's why I literally bought one of these bottles for this car. Like Pennzoil still uses black. I don't know. Anyways, let's do a quick 360 of this car. This car fared okay this year. It got the pull in the Penzo 400, but then he got wrecked in it. And then in the fall race, he qualified worse, but he still finished like 10th or 11th. Honestly, he almost got wrecked in the exact same way. But people kind of drift up off the corners. And then eventually, you know, when there's like three of them going for the same spot, usually they hit and somebody spins. Kind of the same thing that happened to cause the Bubba Wallace, uh, Kyle Larson thing last year. This car is perfect. The only thing they need to fix is right here, as you can see. They wanted the Pennzoil big oval right there, but then there's just this big blank spot right here. That is the one thing they need to fix, and that'll like completely bring this car to a 10 out of 10. They can either put like, you know, Pennzoil text there, but they probably don't want the double Pennzoil. Maybe just motor oil, but Pennzoil doesn't really seem to use that on their cars very often. My favorite option would be Jiffy Lube. Put Jiffy Lube right there, but I already got told that was like, oh, well, that's not the primary sponsor, so they can't put that there. But then I think the best option would be put Long May We Drive. That is Pennzoil's current slogan, and the commercial that uses it literally has this car in it. So don't tell me you can't put that there. You put that there, and that immediately goes from like a 9 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10, because that is the one problem is that there's a big blank spot, but... They could even put Shell there, but this is the Penzo only car, so they don't really want Shell. Who knows? Anyways, let's go back to the 360 of the car. The car is still the matte finish to kind of match the Penzo bottle that the last few cars have been. Just a beautiful, beautiful paint scheme. So cool to see a more Steve Park looking car back. Like I said, the way that they, you know, combine multiple old paint schemes is just a great idea. Anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Pennzoil. Got Ford Mustang number 22. Down the side, you have Pennzoil. Back here, you got AAA and Auto Trader. On the C post, you have Discount Tire and Cap Gemini. On the B post, you have Ford, PPG, Mazak, and Coca Cola. Joey Logano's name right there. Does have the Cup Series logo and the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo. Does have the clean Penske chrome rims. Watch, they are actually changing finally for race wins. Joey Logano's Auto Trader Atlanta win just came out, like the ARC version, and what does it have? It has like silver rims with some dirt on it. They finally changed it from the shiny chrome rims for a race version. They finally learned. Hopefully they keep doing that. Hopefully that's not like, oh, that was a mistake. The next, all the race ones will go back to the chrome next time. <laughs> that was definitely something cool to see. That's exactly what I said. Do something different for the race wins. Keep these clean, shiny ones for the clean die cast. I think they're fine for the clean die cast. I don't know. Some people hate them, but I don't. Anyways. On the back, you have Pennzoil 22 crew. Got the Ford Michigan license plate, number 22. Got Jiffy Lube on the deck lid. Snap-on on the roof. This is number 80. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. Whoops. As I knock the camera down. Got Pennzoil and Powered by Ford under there. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. This is an Elite, so the deck lid does open. 
There's the fuel cell if you want to see that. Of course, you got roof flaps. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that one. Not a whole lot to talk about the car like this. Like I said, just a really cool looking paint scheme. Like I said, I absolutely love the old school feel of this paint scheme right here. This feels so much like their old 90s and early 2000s paint schemes. Hopefully this stays for a few years or maybe they make like a different one. But like, keep this old school look. I love the yellow and the black. I think the best Penzo paint schemes are primarily yellow and black. He said, yes, some of the, you know, just all yellow kind of Penzo bottle paint schemes, like the one he had in 2022 and one with the Vegas, that looked really cool. Like, that was the best version of, like, the Penzo bottle looking paint scheme. But, like, this is definitely, this looks amazing. So, please do not just go right back to some, you know, Penzo bottle paint scheme after you had this beautiful car. As of recording this video, we still haven't seen any of the 2023 Joey Logano paint schemes. They have now revealed the uh, Dark Horse Mustang, the brand new body for next year. Hopefully it fixes all their problems this year. Was, or yeah, it's, it's NASCAR, so what's going to happen is Ford's going to win like the first three races, and then they're just going to immediately nerf them, even though they just let Chevy win like 30 out of the 40 races a year, and nobody cares. <laughs> Anyways, that's a rant for another day. If you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. This car is pretty popular amongst fans just because of the kind of old school look, so I would not be surprised if this thing gets rare pretty quickly. So you might want to pick it up soon if you want it. Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com, and if you use the code BWEC, you can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. So go check it out if you want anything. But I think I'll change all there is to say. This has been a review of Joey Logano's Pennzoil Elite for 2023. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.